The Gibbs Museum of Art is alive with both permanent masterpieces as well as new works by visiting artists. Let's welcome one of those visiting artists, Maria White, who also has local roots right here in the Low Country. So welcome to Fox 24 News Now. Um, so you are a Somerville resident. Indeed, yes, I went to Somerville High. Um, moved to Somerville um, when I was in eighth grade from Las Vegas, oh, but wow. I'm a graduate from Somerville. That's wonderful. Green Wave. So yes, Green Wave. Mm -hmm. um, so what uh, to to see your work showcased at a local museum, the Gibbs of all museums. I mean, that must be an incredible sense of accomplishment. It's a huge honor. I'm I'm really grateful to be there. I um, applied to the visiting artist residency and was really grateful to be given the opportunity to make my work there. Yeah, and your work is absolutely beautiful. So tell us a little bit about what makes your pottery different. You know, ceramics, it can take on quite literally infinite shapes and sizes. So how would you define yours? So my work is very minimal in form. I try to keep a very simple, elegant silhouette for my pieces. But I'm very interested in drawing the viewer in, also tactile. I want my work to be touched, I want it to be explored, I'm interested in how light might dance on it, how it might be absorbed, how it might radiate. And I enjoy making work that is decorative but also highly functional. Mm -hmm. So, and as you said, it sky's the limit. And, and the clay is going to be different in the hands of the maker. Yeah. And so I enjoy exploring that. One of your featured pieces on the Gibbs landing page is so delicate. It just looks very delicate and, mm -hmm. and light, mm -hmm. but also the, the color of it is so beautiful. It's, it's dark and mysterious, so it's kind of that, an interesting juxtaposition of, of, of imagery that you have with one piece of ceramics. I mean, it's, you, but your background is really interesting because you've used ceramic in very, like you say, practical purposes. Mm -hmm. You're also an independent filmmaker, so I'd love to learn more about how ceramics has played a role in filmmaking. So um, I started out making very functional work, and anyone who's learning on the wheel, you're making, it's the biomechanics, getting the skills down before you start designing. Mm -hmm. And so I started designing work that was utilitarian and then specifically for interior designers, restaurants, some in LA, um, for lighting, things like this. Um, even on some film sets, it might be in a production design set, things like that. Wow. And that is really interesting to me to be able to play a part in different, if you're in a home, a workplace. Yeah. And there's an intimacy in creating handmade objects that I find really rewarding. Exactly, and, and the difference between doing the two. So there is an intimacy, um, I would imagine a very cathartic experience of sitting down to a wheel and creating something very different from, in some ways, from making a film. How would you say that they're different? How would you say that they're similar? So I do think they're similar at first in process. There's a beginning, middle, and end, and there's a discipline. There's um, and, um, and, I, and I enjoy that. I also enjoy in both mediums that the possibilities are endless. Yeah. And you can geek out in so many different areas. And you can also find your own voice. Where they're different is with ceramics, I can have an idea in my mind and I can start from beginning to end. With a film, for me personally, I, I need collaborators mm -hmm. to tell a story. And sometimes that's easier than other times, so yeah, sure. so um, I enjoy doing both. Um, when I get to make a film, I'm really excited, but um, I can always sit down on the wheel and design and create something. And it's a treat for people coming to the Gibbs, too, because they can actually see you work, and you're also going to do a workshop. So tell us a little bit more about what it's called, Muddy Meetups. Muddy is what Meetups. It's called, right? So basically, we provide, it's about an hour and a half, and it's free to moms, expectant moms, moms that are trying to get pregnant, maybe mm -hmm. struggling with sure. infertility, um, and eventually, we'd like to open up to other others. But um, in the meantime, we are having these events, and we always have a either a birth postpartum doula, reproductive psychiatrist, or a, an art therapist, which we just had from MUSC Arts and Healing, to help guide. And then, as an artist, I help provide the clay and a project. And I believe clay. I think everyone should work with clay. Yeah, it's a, I, it's I love a the tremendous. Idea. Um, it's a vehicle for healing and expression yeah. and also a way to build community. So these moms get to look each other in the eye. Babies are welcome. And we provide a meal 
and resources. It's marvelous. Muddy Meetup is happening Thursday, March 31st at 12.30 to 1.30 at the Gibbs Museum of Art. Maria White, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We're back after this.